Faces of Breast Cancer is brought to you by Willamette Valley Cancer Institute and Research Center. As a doctor and as a woman, if you are over the age of 40, get an annual mammogram because I know early detection saves lives. At Willamette Valley Cancer Institute and Research Center, we successfully treat breast cancer in our patients and when it's discovered early, we beat it more often. With comprehensive radiation, GYN, and medical oncology treatments, Willamette Valley Cancer Institute and Research Center gives our patients more than a fighting chance. At Willamette Valley Cancer Institute and Research Center, we provide you with the best cancer care when it matters most. The following program is brought to you commercial free by Oregon Imaging Centers and Willamette Valley Cancer Institute and Research Center. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for this special presentation, Faces of Breast Cancer. I'm Kelly Warner, along with Renee McCullough and Nohalani Graf. Over the next 30 minutes, we're taking a closer look at a disease that will touch 207,000 people this year alone. Two simple words that disrupt lives and families, breast cancer. That is 207,000 mothers, wives, sisters, and friends who will be diagnosed before the year is over. And even men can get breast cancer. Breast cancer can strike anyone at any time. And here in Oregon, we have one of the highest rates of breast cancer in the country. In Lane County, the rate of women being diagnosed in the later stages of the disease is even higher. Why is that? No one knows for sure, but we know something needs to change. Tonight, you'll hear from breast cancer survivors. We'll show you what you can do right now to help protect yourself against this disease. And for the first time, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure is coming to Eugene. You'll see what this means when it comes to supporting survivors in our communities and the role it plays in groundbreaking research aimed at putting an end to breast cancer. Breast cancer doesn't care if you're successful, doesn't care if you pay your bills on time or if you volunteer in the community. There is no rhyme or reason to who will get it, and for most people, it will strike unexpectedly. That's how it happened for two Lane County sisters, and it has turned into a battle that has haunted their family for 13 years. If you didn't know they were sisters, you would definitely call Lindy and Lorelei friends. We've always been best buds. Since childhood, they've been extremely close, a bond that only grew as they did. It's like we'll spend a few years apart and I'll end up just missing that friendship and I end up moving wherever she's at. <laughs> I'm the more serious one. I'm the serious older sister and she's the fun younger sister. She is the rock. <laughs> she's always been there for me, always. And being there has taken on a new meaning ever since 1997 when their mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. I didn't think people, you know, lived through cancer. So I thought, oh my gosh, my mom is going to die. Their mom survived, but three years later in 2000, Lindy found a lump during a self-breast exam. Cancer had found her. We're thinking we have something bad going on in our family. Ironically, three years later, Lorelei found out she had breast cancer. The first time I had surgery and radiation, and then it came back three years later. Lindy and Lorelei decided to undergo genetic testing to see if they carried what's known as the breast cancer gene. They both tested negative. Then last fall, three years after Lorelei's last diagnosis, she learned the cancer had returned for the third time. This time it was stage four, news that was just as tough to take for Sister Lindy. In a lot of ways it's easier to go through it yourself than to watch somebody you love go through it. It's tough. Both sisters have shared their stories in a book written by cancer survivors for cancer survivors. Lorelei also blogs about her disease, and when she's not physically up to it, Lindy blogs for her. I don't think about it as I'm writing it, you know, if I'm going to affect other people, I'm just spilling my guts out, and I'm just so appreciative of any more time I have. But cancer makes no promises, so she and Lindy can't predict what lies ahead. And especially watching my mom and my sister have recurrences, I realize it's, there's not ever a time where I'm going to feel completely safe. Both sisters are strong. Lorelei wears a small pair of boxing gloves around her neck as a daily reminder. That I'm, I'm a fighter. She's feisty. <laughs> and she's a fighter. A feisty fighter. 
<laughs> Lorelai is still blogging about her journey with this disease. Just recently, she wrote that she may be a candidate for a new clinical trial. It's testing a drug that has previously been used for colon and liver cancers, but is showing promise when it comes to slowing Lorelai's type of breast cancer. As women, we're advised to start getting regular mammograms at the age of 40, but some women are at risk of the disease much earlier. Katie Burke of Eugene knows that firsthand. She is a breast cancer survivor, and she's just 25 years old. Katie was newly married and looking forward to starting a new life with her husband when she found a lump in her breast. She was told repeatedly that because of her age, it was probably nothing but nothing turned out to be an aggressive form of cancer. Doctors told her there was a 95% chance the disease could return sometime in her lifetime, so she made a tough decision. She chose to have a double mastectomy. We had just lost my grandmother to leukemia, and it was like I watched her fight a whole year without any white blood cells, and I knew like I had to make her proud, and I had to just get in fight mode, and. I had to work along the way because I wasn't a person to sit on the couch and dwell on what was going on. Katie accepted her diagnosis and turned it into action. And since undergoing surgery, she now volunteers with Susan G. Komen for a cure locally. She speaks with college-aged girls about the importance of early detection. Until there's a cure for breast cancer, there really is no way to completely protect yourself. We have no control over our genetics. Our genes are what they are. There's also environmental factors that we're all exposed to daily that could contribute to breast cancer. But here's where you do have control, your lifestyle. Small changes in how you live can create huge steps in protecting yourself. No smoking, that's a big one. If you do smoke, find a way to quit. Eating a diet that's low in fat, that can cut your risk. Also getting regular exercise. That's important because the more weight a woman carries, the more estrogen her body produces, and that hormone has been shown to be a big factor in breast cancer. As a matter of fact, making these changes can cut your risk for developing all cancers. Any doctor will tell you that the key to beating breast cancer is early detection. We here at NewSource 16 want to do our part. That's why we've launched the 16 Checks In campaign. Help is just a few clicks away, so let me show you what you need to do. First, head to our website at KMTR.com. When you get there, click on the 16 Checks In icon on the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Just scroll down to the next page and sign up for our monthly alerts. It's free to join. All you have to do is put in your name and your email address. And then on the 16th of every month, we'll send you a reminder to do your self-exam. You know, one woman on our list can tell you firsthand just how important early detection is. She found a lump, and doctors confirmed it on her last mammogram. Now Christine Buxton is battling a very rare, aggressive, and fast-growing form of breast cancer. She's 41, has no family history of breast cancer, but is now going through chemo treatments. Christine says she's lucky, though. If she had waited just another month to get a mammogram, the cancer may have spread to her lymph nodes. I mean, it scares me to think if I had missed it, you know, maybe even waited all figured oh I don't need one till next year then what would have happened it would have been horrible Christine should be finished with chemo by December I'm signed up and now it's your turn and when you get that reminder on the 16th of every month don't stop there tell the other women in your lives to do their self exam your mother your sisters your girlfriends it's simple and it could save your life as much as screening and early detection is important in the fight against breast cancer, so is community support. And this is an exciting year. For the first time, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure is coming to Eugene. 10-10 of 10. That's October 10th, and it all starts at Autzen Stadium. Up until now, the closest race has been held in Portland. And if you haven't had the opportunity to experience it, this event is quite something. The race is an opportunity to celebrate the many people in our area who've been touched by breast cancer and to remember those who lost their fight to this terrible disease. And let's not forget, it is a major fundraiser to help educate, support, and protect women in Oregon against breast cancer. We'll have more specifics about race day coming up, including how to sign up and be a part of it.